Hello everyone and welcome back to Subnautica. We're just gonna pick off pick up right where we were. How's my water and stuff looking though? Water, first aid. Okay, I'm still good. Um So we're gonna head down to the There is an the um I believe it's the how mm, I can't remember which one this is. No, I think this facility houses uh, creatures. The power plant's farther down. That's right. That's right. I hope I'm remembering that right. We'll find out. This means, though, we are getting relatively close to the finish for Subnautica. Which means I'll be starting below zero here soon. Which some of you probably might be excited, some of you may not. Some of you probably don't like Subnautica. Which is fine. Like I said, Subnautica, this is... This is mainly a series I do for myself. Ow. I forgot it's hot right here. I need to get my scanner. Anyway, I don't have it equipped. Hurry up. I wasn't paying it. I forgot there were thermal vents right there. And also wasn't paying attention to my temperature gauge. Uh, let's see. Databanks. Oh, wrong one. Deceased. Sea dragon skeleton. Semi intact skeletal structure of a Leviathan class predator. Head trauma. Clear evidence of a massive physical trauma to the head. The damage is so severe that it was likely ca the cause of death and must have occurred somewhere nearby. Damage is consistent with a high-speed collision with a solid object. Something in the environment has helped preserve these remains, but calcium decay suggests an approximate time of death 1,000 years ago. Bone growth suggests the creature was in the egg-laying stage of its life. Now, we're going to go check out, oops, head back this way, we're going to go check out the research area, so give me a hot minute. A life form is contained within. Yep, see, right there, this is the containment, which, uh, there's the entrance. I missed. No, warp, no, let me in here. Let me in here. Ow. I'm stuck on the... Yep, that's what I was afraid of. Nope. Bye. 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 That hurt. You little... Where'd he go? I don't know where he went, but we're good for now. Now let me in. Okay, now we're away from him. Let's get us one of our ion cubes here. Thank you. Interior walls in this section are substantially reinforced, indicating the design. Oh, I don't have a tablet with me. I'll have to come back for that. Or contain it within. Whatever their intention, it clearly failed. Oh, I forgot to grab a tablet, so we'll come back to that. Unless I find one along here. Thank you. Alright. 
Time to go for a swim. Where is my... Damage report. Big fella there. We'll come back to that. Let me... Residual biological evidence suggests indigenous life forms were brought to this location and subjected to intensive study. Data pertaining to the bacterium is being downloaded. Caution. Detecting atypical fluctuations in blood plasma proteins. A self-scan is strongly advised. Yeah, the first time you see this, you're just, is the oh crap moment. I forget how to get in there, crap. Wait. Oh, it was those. Yeah, I don't. Oh, that glass is broken. Whoopsie. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah, whatever. It's fine. I know what I'm doing. Oh, almost missed a cube. Thank you. Egg for the big boy we found. Ha <laughs> ha! Big boy we found outside. We're big mama. All right. Let's see. We've got all kinds of new stuff. This big boy uh, suggests it was kept alive for research purposes for months or years. Once supported a extensive plant life since decayed. Killed on the spot or left to die once it collapsed. With the biter and sand shark, including its distinctive double eye sockets, this specimen is significantly very much larger. Features unusual forearms rarely seen in aquatic species. This species has likely gone extinct in the past thousand years and its evolutionary relatives have evolved almost beyond recognition. Harvested from life forms. Vertebrate skeletal structures match organisms encountered on the planet so far. Most cannot be matched with confidence, suggesting they are either they're out there not yet accounted for, or they become extinct. This large egg is held hermetically sealed environment and has been chemically sterilized. Without the means of the facility to house a fully grown sea dragon specimen, it is possible to end such study, inst study instead the egg laying and incubation process. To what end is unclear. I'll have to come back here with a purple tablet. I forgot to bring one down here. Yeah, so basically what happened is Big Mama out here uh, basically just rammed into this thing because its eggs were in there and destroyed this place. Now, I'm going to get... I have enough. Well, yeah, I've got a backup, a backup power cell. So yeah. So now, 
give me a moment and I'll be back with you guys after I get to a little farther down because we're going to get some kyanite while we're down here. So welcome to the... stay over there. Welcome to the lava zone. And I went a different way than I normally do so you guys, I'll show you guys the um, place to pick up loose kyanite without having to have the drill in case you come down here without it because you haven't found the print or what have you. I'll show you guys that later, but... So we're gonna go ahead and drill these crystals while we're down here. And then after I do that, I'm gonna show you guys... The living sea dragon. Can I help you? Get out of here. Alright, so I got enough kyanite for now, so let's... Head over here, and you guys are gonna see the sea dragon. Which, if you're watch honestly, if you're watching this, most of you have probably seen it before because it's Subnautica. It's been out for a while, but oh, I wasn't expecting you to be right there. Hi. No, no, don't come over here. I'm just gonna stay very still. Except, get away. Nope. Crap. 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 These guys drain your energy, by the way. Gonna have to get out real fast and... Not... Oh, fine. Okay. I'm just gonna have to deal with this for a second. I'm gonna get away from the sea dragon who got very mad at me for being here. So, you... okay, anyway. So these guys right here suck your power. So... There's just the one, right? Yes, just the one. Okay. Put this in here so I can do some more. Alright, we are back at base now. Though I need water rather badly. Oh, perfect. There's water in there. Boom. Okay. And food. That'll work. I don't know why. I could just eat it from there. I don't know why I did that. Okay. We're much better now. Alright. So. Head back here and let's get... Okay, so I need... I did that. So I need thermal reactor, which is... I can't make polyaniline right now, I know that. And the wiring kit. Okay, so... Oh, wait, have I been really playing that long? Jeez. Okay, so... We're gonna call it here. Because after editing, this is probably a short one, so... We'll see. But... Because I did spend a lot of time gathering materials, but this will be it for now. I really need to remember to save more than I do. And I will remember to like and subscribe, and I will see everyone next time.